Hey, wake up you guys. What's going on? Tom here. My lines. Now let's talk about is it too early to start preparing for Q4? Now I know I get this question a lot, um, especially like even in business, any business, any company you're in. The answer is no, it's not too early to get prepared for Q4. Why? because you want to get ahead of your competition you never ever want to rush into things imagine how busy amazon will be in q4 you got thanksgiving coming up you got black friday coming up you got um what else you got you got um, christmas coming up you got new year's coming up lots of holidays people buy gifts people buy all kinds of items from amazon now 80 percent of shopping is done online and most of that on Amazon. So imagine how busy your competitors will be and the manufacturers will be. So is it too early? No, we are now in um, July, right? So we got uh, basically um, October, November, December. So July, August, September. So we are at the start of Q3, right? So it's perfect time to prepare for Q4. The first thing you're gonna do is contact your supplier and make sure that they can produce the number of units you will need for Q4. Now, based on your historical sales, if you have sold for a couple of years, it's great because you know what you'll be selling. Um, the other thing is your product. What kind of product are you selling, right? Is it gonna sell during those months? So you always have to actually start, maybe you'll do a brand new product research and you'll sell something like um, for Christmas, like what people uh, wear, like a Christmas hat or um, or socks or uh, whatever it is, right? Like if it's New Year's Eve, the New Year's Eve hats, right? That people wear at parties, um, things like that. So you gotta think about what type of products sell during what holiday season. Now, this is where you're touching seasonal products, right? So you have to be very careful for Q4. So do your research. This is the time. Q3 is the perfect time to do your product research. Um, contact your suppliers. If you're using the same supplier, great. If you're not, you gotta find a new supplier for the new product. Um, figure out what the manufacturing times are. It takes it about 25 to 40 days for ocean shipping to come in. So you also gotta account for that. So all of a sudden you're touching, you're pretty much very close to Q4, right? Do you, do you guys see like why it's so important to prepare? You don't have to air in everything because air freight is a lot more expensive. So you can just, uh, you have the time now to actually bring everything uh, by sea and that will save you guys a ton of money. That's why preparation is very important. Always be one quarter ahead of your sales so if you're selling for q4 be ready for it in q3 in q1 be ready for q2 now if you in q1 if you're going to be ready for q2 and 3 even better right the more time you have to prepare and um weed out those errors or mistakes that's going to happen along the way it's perfect so it's never ever too early to prepare for q4 so yeah guys i just wanted to make this quick video to let you guys know that it is important to prepare. The importance of preparation is amazing. Now, um, one of my favorite, favorite definitions uh, or uh, words is uh, luck, right? But I don't define luck the same way a lot of people do. Luck is basically when preparation meets opportunity. Think about that, guys. So if you're prepared for something, if you're prepared for your Q Q4, the opportunity is to sell for the holiday season, for Christmas, for New Year's, for Thanksgiving, all these seasons that is coming up, right? That's when you're going to make the money. That's when you're actually going to hit it big. And that's all luck is really. You have to be prepared for an opportunity. And I want you guys to make a habit of this. Don't just leave everything last minute. It never works out. Things could go wrong. It'll cost you money. So. That's, that's, that's my two cents on this. It's a quick video. I just wanted to share this information because a lot of people have been asking me about Q4. And um, yeah, so yes, get it rolling, get it going. Start early as possible. I love to hear your comments on this. I would love to hear if you're running uh, into any issues, let me help you. Put it in the comments below. I'll try to help you guys. I know that not everybody is as prepared as some other people. Not everybody prepares ahead of time. So um, there are ways to basically um, 
uh, move around things if uh, you're struggling with uh, preparing on time if you're just overwhelmed uh, overall with Amazon FBA because that is absolutely a thing no matter what people tell you that it is a passive income kind of business it's not it is for some time when your product is running well and you're bringing an inventory but Amazon FBA guys is all about finding profitable products and if a product is profitable right now it doesn't mean that it's going to be profitable tomorrow or by tomorrow I mean like in six months or whatever so that's it guys thank you so much for watching subscribe hit the bell button leave a comment and I'm gonna see you guys on my live streams over the weekend thanks again and have a have a wonderful weekend bye